are native to Latin America. I'm going to ask everybody to please sit down. I know it's hard to see her where she is. We will bring her closer to you so everybody gets a chance oh to see her. Thank you so much. revered by modern falconers for their willingness and ability to pursue prey in condensed vegetation. Some historians believe that the Aplomado falcon was exported from the Americas during the Renaissance all the way up into Europe. This bird is believed to be Leolette, a falcon that was once revered by royalty By the mid-1900s, Apple model falcons had almost completely disappeared from this part of their range. And so, motivated by a desire to see Apple model falcons flying free in the wild in the United States again, the Peregrine Fund began working with the species in the 1980s. For nearly 30 years, we bred Apple model falcons in captivity and then released them back out into the wild before finally ending our breeding program in 2013. For the past 10 years, we have been focused on studying the needs of these newly released populations down in Texas, working with local yeah, landowners yeah. to help reestablish healthy <laughs> populations um, of uh, native species such as plants and insects and other animals, and also putting up uh, nest platforms like the one you see on the trail over here out to our right. Savannah. 